criminals and the groups that we target uh, seek to profit from other people's misery. I mean, these are pretty horrible people. So our absolute focus is on identifying those people, assessing who are the worst of the worst, and relentlessly disrupting what they're doing. And the end result has to be that we cut crime, it has to be about safer communities, and communities that are confident in what the NCA and the police and law enforcement are doing to keep them safe. And the UK needs to be a prosperous place that attracts people to do business here. All of that means we need to be brilliant at what we do. What I'd ask readers to do is to reflect on how they live their lives now uh, compared to how they lived their lives only a few years ago. So whether you're looking for love, you're communicating with your family, you're banking, you're managing your savings, children are networking with each other or sharing pictures. So much of that now is online and that exposes us all to different types of risks than it does in physical space. So some of that's about crime that specifically is targeted through the internet. Some of it's old crime using new ways. So if we think about how children are vulnerable, they're more vulnerable online now than they ever have been. And that's really important that parents and carers understand that. Uh, it also means that criminals are, are going online in a way that the average citizen is as well. So they perpetrate their particular criminality online in a way that they didn't only a few years ago. So we all need to be alive to the risks. That's partly because we can do a lot to protect ourselves, whether it's about some basic hygiene on our computers and also our behaviour online, but also how we make sure that children and young people are conducting themselves properly online. It also presents challenges for law enforcement because we need to be able to investigate in an internet age and investigate online just in the same way as we do in the street, in people's homes or within businesses. The police have been in the headlines recently for the wrong reasons. As a career law enforcement officer, how do you feel when you hear the accusations made about policing in Britain? Uh, I'm hugely proud of the men and women that I've worked alongside throughout a career in law enforcement. Um, and sometimes we make mistakes. And sometimes officers let uh, the organisation, and most importantly the public, down, as they do in every profession. The reality is that's very visible now. It's very visible because it gets reported. It's very visible because the public quite rightly have very high expectations for how public servants will conduct themselves, particularly those of us, and I include myself in this, who are entrusted with powers. It's really important we have the highest standards. So my view is there have been some challenges. I can understand why there's some concern in some places about the conduct of law enforcement and policing. The most important thing is to focus on doing the job for the public to a high standard, conducting ourselves with integrity. If we make mistakes or bad things happen, be open about it, learn the lessons, and get it right next time. It's all about demonstrating the highest levels of integrity and public service values that we possibly can.